Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back to our class on how to make loafer shoes. We've come a long way. We've done some considerable bit with what we've set out to do. We've done all of the patterns, the lining patterns as well. And you know, like I mentioned in the previous class, we've done all of the office work. Now it's time for us to do workshop work. So like always, I'll skip and revert to narrating in Nigerian Pigeon. So the first thing we do is we utilize all of the patterns that we created. Nah, still speaking English, too much to reach you. First thing we go do, we go trace out all of our pattern on leather. So these one are the upper patterns. Then of course the part where I be one I won't use do the bow I go glue non elastic fabric for the back make it know the stretch then I go cut out all of the designs for them notice those two extra areas where I add for the side there you get why I will tell you later then also for the back of the lining where they see like this this part where they for the nyash like that the part where they up. I leave them, I give about 2 mm space and this part will be for the nash and no cut them out. You also get why. See as I do the front part of the line and you see all those area where I leave about 3 mm space all around, you get why too. So this now the upper patterns. Now look for the back seam here like this. I leave about 1 mm space. You get why all of this why why they tell you say you get now for the time where we go need to do stitching now make we do it in the decor skiving now skiving now something where many people they find very difficult my first rule for skiving they say your knife must be very very sharp nobody if you teach you skiving now matter of you know observe practice then you go good for them and skiving is very important. If you know Sabi do skiving, you go always show for the shoes where you make. You go always get those boards where they show say you na amateur. But even if you know Sabi do them well, 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 make it no worry you. Just every single day, practice skiving. And I tell you, within one month or two months, you go done perfect them. After I skive, you see as I use fire, burn out all those ajaji with it day for the amount of the things where you skive. It also day important. Then I'll also skive the lining pattern. So each time we be like say my knife one day day blunt, I go also, you know, strop it, make it sharp. Correct, correct. Now make I punch my broke holes. Now for the assignment where I say make you not do, I know add all these broke holes. This one I should weigh my customer order. So I add my broke holes. So these broke holes now just simple broke holes where they do. So I alternate between big hole, small hole. See I'm like that. Come out. Simple. No <laughs> voila. Alright. So make me do it in the day of closing. So I apply glue for all of my stitching allowances and then on the reverse side of the um, pattern piece where they join. You leave the glue, make it dry. Then you stick them onto where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Don't mind me, I shoot this video for nights and I just did narrate them for early morning, early morning so I did drink my coffee as I did narrate them like this. So remember that one CM thing where I say make you leave for the back seam? Alright, so I go add small glue for the back like that. Then you know match my very very, very careful to match my top line well well then I go join the back seam. Then on the reverse side, I go now mark out the same one cm where go now be my stitching line so that I go feel stitch and done. Then the seam go be very very fine. You no go even see thread at all. Now I also glue the seams of my linings. You know, <clears throat> so glue them like this. Match the top line to the top line. 
top line to top line. So I go first of all stitch and turn that back seam. You see, I'm like that stitch. Em. Now I make I show you a few things. My own method though, of stitching leather, shoe leather. The part, the line where I don't want to overshoot. I'm gonna make sure say it be on the right hand side of the sewing machine. It they point inward towards the sewing machine. Now if to follow the, then I they stitch my something very slow. For all these very very sharp ends, sometimes I go even stop to the pedal or even the wind and I go use my hand to turn the wheel. Just go slow. Waiting the importance now, say your stitching lines, they correct and straight. Nobody say you fast, you are not a tailor, you are not a fabric person, you are not rushing with anybody. If you have to wind the hand of your sewing machine to get perfect stitches, do them until you perfect how to stitch um, fast so you are not competing with anybody till today when i reach some kind some kind bends i go stop still wind my sewing machine with hand until i get my perfect stitches you see I'm, everything they okay it's not the most perfect stitching in this world but i wasn't trained as a tailor it's okay it's possible for me see that very good <laughs> if i may say so 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 the back seam you get something else where we need to do to him now you see say that place where we stitch the back seam like that you go get small budge so i go spread them out like that then use the auger the equine of my hammer just mark them in just flatten them out then I will turn the hammer also flatten them out like this. Then I go turn the whole thing again, just completely flatten them out. This is a method of doing back seams really. If you want to add an extra um, layer of leather to cover that, that's up to you. But you know, I did it very well, so I like to leave it that way. Now it's time to fold the folding allowance of my top line. So I go just carefully fold them. You don't want to have waves. You want it to be a straight line so that when person they look the side of your shoe, they go no say say you self na man we sabi. <laughs> so after I don't fold them, I go, you know, use my hammer lightly and tap them into place. Right. So, we are coming to the conclusion, the next thing that to stitch in the bow, you must do stitch in this bow area before you begin add your line into the upper, otherwise if you give you wala, if you know C road, uh, stitch them in if you add your line in first. So for this particular type of loafers, I did add my bow first. Now, if you sabi how to do saddle stitching, hand stitching, it's not a problem. You can, you know, use hand to stitch them even after you don't add your lining. But for this case, I wanted to use my sewing machine. After I add the bow, then I go trim out those extra areas where they for that side there. Where I didn't add initially. Then I go add gum to the tongue of my loafers and around the top line. This dog with the back like this. One day I go flog and pack up. Make it just the back, they disturb me. Then add again gum to the tongue of my lining as well. And all around the top line as well. Then mark out the centers for both the back and the front. Of course, from your lining, you suppose already done Adam. Then add center to center. Then start out the front part like this. Once you don't do like some way in, you go flip them over. Now join the center of the back to the center of the lining. And then just draw the thing straight and everything will fall in place. See? Upper work don't finish like this. So the remaining thing we did now to sew the tongue area and also sew the 
top line area. So now that we will do now. Remember what I say about how the stitch leather, the part, the line where no one overshoots would always be on the inside, on the right hand side. So I go now sew them like this. These dogs there, my neighbor, one day if you wake up, no see the dog, make it just no start. Use them cooked pepper soup. After all, now for Calabar, I do youth service. So I go just carefully stitch everything. Now it takes a little bit of uh, maneuvering to stitch around the bow area. You have to, you know, raise it up so that the the presser foot of your sewing machine feet go in stitching. But it's not a problem, as you can see. Um, I maneuvered my way around it, <clears throat> and I did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this upper work, as you can see, it came out well. So we are going to be going to the next stage, which is lasting. So try this out to get your patterns to the point where you've already uh, sewn and coupled the leather. And then I'll see you on the next class where we'll be doing lasting. God bless you. Have a lovely, lovely month of August and see you on the next class. And if you have not liked this uh, page, go ahead and do that. Subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you get alerts of when we post new content. Till I see you next time, guys. God bless you once again.